Mistakes that are made in the first 72 hours cannot be made up for later in the sheikh's life. As the saying goes that gone is gone. Taking the time to do brooding right pays off a lot. During brooding, one major factor is the heat source for young sheikhs, which usually varies from use of lighting source, charcoal or stove, gas, brooder or reflectors and many others. However, of all these mentioned, I decided to eliminate them and see if I can actually brood 500 boiler sheikhs without heat. Follow me through to find out my results and learn from it. I will also unveil some tips in the course of this video. What's up my people? Welcome to Life of a Farmer Loaf where we discuss farming in details. I remain your anchor Ishokri of Okirayin. You can call me Ovarans and if this is your first time of coming across my video, you are welcome. And a big thank you to all my old and new subscribers. And if you are yet to subscribe, please kindly click the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon for prompt update so that you won't miss out on future upload. Also like, share and drop your questions in the comment section. Without wasting your time, let's dive into the main cocoa. Brooding young sheiks requires heat but I decided not to administer heat for experimental purpose. I don't want to use heat and I wanted to see the reaction and the results as well. But before then, I have to fix a lot of things. The first thing I did was seal up the entire pen with black nylon. I use black nylon because we all know that black do absorb heat. I also sealed up and make sure to conserve whatever heat they produce within the brooder pen. Well, before completing it, I was already sweating profusely, even without any heat source. It was at this point I knew it will work. I mean brooding without heat. Like always, let me tell you one tip about brooding. During your brooding, to know if the temperature is okay for your sheets, spend time of up to 3 to 5 minutes within the brooder pen. And within this time, if you are sweating, then the brooder pen temperature is good for your your beds. This is exactly what happened. Before I could finish up, I was sweating. The second thing I did was to spread the wood shavings. I made sure that the wood shavings are well dried and contain no foreign materials. By simply filling by hand and eyes, one could easily notice or differentiate wet from dry one. And the essence of me putting the wood shavings is to act as insulator. The ground is most likely to be cold. This will not make them to feel warm. Because I'm not going to give them heat, I have to make sure the pen is conducive for them before the arrival of the beds. To find out how this was achieved, you can click the link showing at the top right corner right now to watch my video on what to do before the arrival of your chicks as a beginner in La Famille. It's a must watch. You will love it as I give detailed information about preparation to avoid mortality. Once the wood shavings are spread, I position all my feeders and drinkers in place. I placed feed and water also. Because I haven't done this once, I prepared for the unknown circumstances. And this was called emergency exit plan, which really helped me out and worked perfectly. After this was done, I then started unboxing my lovely chicks. They were very smart and active and well distributed around the pen, as you can see, without any heat source. Mind you, this was during the day. As the night draws near, the pen was becoming cold. I observed them trying to hold them together to keep warm. At this point, I decided it is time to implement my emergency exit plan, also known as Plan B. But before I state, please kindly click the subscribe button if you are yet to subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell icon to get prompt updates whenever I a new video. Also like, share and drop your questions in the comments section. Thanks. And the emergency exit plan I introduced that saved the day was to introduce my charcoal bucket immediately and the chicks were happy again. Though my observation is that yes, it will be difficult to brood that huge number of birds in this period of rainy season we have currently. But I believed it can be done during the dry season when the weather is hot. And that outside, if you have access to electricity, you can use your bulbs to generate heat for them. And another thing also, I also noticed that if you have limited beds of say 50 to 100, yes, it is achievable. But saying 500 beds, it's very difficult because they will need the heat at night mostly. Please click the screen right now to watch best ways for proper water 
vaccination to boost your chick's immunity and also how to prevent chick's mortality during the first week of life. Don't forget also to watch the playlist showing right now on brooding young chicks for effective management where I discussed all about brooding your day old chicks. Thanks. See you in my next video. Peace out.